All right, brothers and sisters. Today is another bright new day that the Lord has made, and uh, we are going to rejoice and be glad in it as we study His Word. And uh, in today's Bible lesson, we are going to answer one very baffling question, okay? That uh, most of the people usually ask. And uh, this question is uh, why didn't Jesus appear to more people after his resurrection? Why didn't he appear to more people after he rose from the dead? Now, this is going to be our question today that we are going to answer. And I don't know if you're ready. Let's get started. Now, we have to understand that after Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to Mary Magdalene, uh, various women, also two unnamed disciples. That is uh, also, okay, nobody knows who they were. And also Peter and the rest of the remaining 11 apostles. And scripture says that after that, he appeared to more than 500 of the brothers and sisters at the same time, most of whom are still living, though whom have fallen asleep, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James, and then to all the apostles, and last he appeared to me also, that is Paul saying, as one born out of time or abnormally or something like that. <laughs> that is uh, 1 Corinthians 15, 6 to 8. And uh we understand that uh, some people have suggested that a larger body of witnesses would have provided more compelling evidence, there, thereby swaying more people to believe uh, from believing in Christ. So we should ask ourselves this one major question. Why did Jesus not appear to more people after his resurrection? You know, Jesus could have shown himself to many other people after his uh, resurrection if he had chosen to, but it was God's plan to limit the post-resurrection appearances to certain groups. And uh, the 500 plus eyewitnesses to the living Lord were enough. The Bible teaches that salvation is a gift of grace through faith. It is not the product of learning a large enough amount of historical knowledge. Remember what the Bible says in Ephesians 2.8.9? It tells us, for by grace are you saved through faith, not through sight, but through faith. Okay? Are you, are you getting the point here? And that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Alright? So, having more evidence is not necessary for those with faith. And there are many passages of scripture that are sufficient to lead someone to believe in Christ. So, as the Bible says, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of, of Christ. Romans 10, 17. And uh, when we hear scripture, the spirit works in tandem with the word in our hearts to bring us to the point of believing. And just a little bit more information about Jesus' life wouldn't be necessary. Uh, because even if we gave more information or the Bible gave more information. It's all about believing in faith rather than believe, believing by sight because that was for the Jews. We as the Gentiles, we believe by faith. And uh, there were many people who were not eyewitnesses to the resurrection who did in fact hear about it. And the word of Jesus' resurrection quickly reached the ears of the Jews, Jewish leaders via the Roman guards at the, at the tomb. And the guards had, been, had uh, seen an angel descend and roll away the stone from the tomb's opening. And the sight, the sight of this made the guards to shake with fear and to fell down as dead. You remember what the Bible says in Matthew 28 verse 4? It tells us the guards shook with fear when they saw him and they fell into a dead faint. And when they reported the events to the Jewish leaders, their reaction was to give the guards money saying, <laughs> and I quote Matthew 28 verse 13, 
the Bible says, saying ye, his disciples came by night and stole him away while we slept. It's, it's these people are saying, just go and t- 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 tell them that the disciples have stolen him. And verse 14 says, and if this come to the governor's ears, we will persuade him and secure you. So they took the money and uh, did as they were taught. And uh, this saying is commonly reported among Jews even today. Mm-hmm. So, in addition, many diseased saints rose from the dead and were seen by many. Matthew twenty-seven fifty-two to 53, the Bible tells us that, uh, and the graves were opened and many bodies of the saints which slept arose and came out of their graves after the, his resurrection and went into the holy city and appeared unto many. So the fact remains that the Jewish leaders heard about the resurrection and many confirmations from eyewitnesses, but they rejected the truth. They absolutely rejected the truth. And we might assume that if Jesus had appeared to more people after his resurrection, more would have believed. But the availability of evidence doesn't doesn't change anything, doesn't change a hardened heart. Jesus taught that a man's heart can be so hardened toward God, even a resurrection will not sway him. Do you remember what the Bible says in John eleven fifty three? That from that day they took counsel to, together to put him to death. It, Jesus has rose. And they still don't believe. Because the, the heart of man can be so hardened that they don't want to hear the truth. They, they just want to hear uh, what their itching ears want. And uh, do you remember the story of the rich man in Hades? the rich man what really happened he he told Abraham can you send Lazarus back from the dead to warn uh, the man's uh, brothers so that they can repent and avoid torment that he was experiencing but uh (laughs) <laughs> you see the man's thinking or reasoning seemed very logical if someone goes to them from the dead they will repent you remember in uh, Luke 16 we could ju- just read the I think almost the whole chapter but I will insist on 27 to 30 but Abraham said they have Moses and the prophets let them hear them if they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not even be persuaded even if someone rises from the dead. And Jesus is appearing to more people after his resurrection would not have been enough evidence for those who refuse to believe. And faith in Christ as a particular definition is simply having a lot of knowledge about the life of Christ and intellectually believing that he existed is not the type of faith that the Bible talks about. The faith that believes to salvation is faith that places trust in Christ's death and resurrection and results in action. Think about James 2 verse 2. It says, Seest thou how faith wrought with his works and by works was faith made perfect? Can you be made perfect by works? No. So, Believing in Christ is not only about a quantifiable amount of knowledge about his life, but a conversion, trust, and commitment to him and his work, which brings one to life through obedience. And Jesus did not appear to more people after his resurrection because faith is not dependent on having the most possible facts. We do not need more written historical information to arrive at the proper position of faith the reason christ did not need to show himself to be to the sanhedrin or herod or Pilate or any other scoffer because his kingdom is not of this world john 18 36 his kingdom is not of this world and people have enough evidence of which to base their faith on 
having said that we understand that Jesus appeared to just the right amount of people after his resurrection we have enough historical evidence to believe the truth and God requires faith God requires faith look at uh, Hebrews 11:6 the bible tells us clearly why faith is needed verse 6 says with a faith is impossible to please him for he that comes to god must believe that he is and that is a reward of them that diligently diligently seek him okay and also if you go to romans 4 verse 16 it says therefore it is of faith that it might be by grace to the end the promise might be sure to all seed not that only which is of the law but to that also which is of the faith of abraham who is the father of us all so of course knowledge about the scriptures is crucially important but the type of faith that comes only by scholastic work without a life changing conversion may only be intellectual absent not the faith that brings salvation true faith in christ involves a certain amount of historical knowledge but it also needs to leads to a changed life with the presence of the holy spirit in one's heart jesus pronounced a blessing on those who have faith he said blessed are those who have not seen and yet they have believed john 20 verse 29 hope this lesson was worth it and it has blessed you